Hey. I hope it's not too late. You're back so soon. Yes. Well, I, I took an earlier flight. <laughs> How is it that one has to have mustard and the other has to have mayo? Well, you know, kids. <laughs> no two alike, right? Right. right. Uh, I just got done checking multiplication, division. Um, oh, I, I gotta sign the reading logs. Oh, that's okay. I'll do it. I'm sorry, you, you, you missed them. They're already in bed. Okay. How's Sage? Um, she barely got through her fifth book before she uh, finally nodded off. Ah, oh, I do not believe all the homework. Oh, Parker has a field trip, huh? Yeah, they asked me to chaperone, but I've got a staff meeting. Well, I'll see if I can do it. Permission slip? Uh, they're in a pile. Whoa, seventeen dollars for the zoo, huh? Oh, bleh. How do you do this day after day? Why don't you let me help you, huh? No, it's all right. I'm almost done. I'd like to help you. I didn't think you were supposed to be back until tomorrow morning. Well, I really didn't see any reason to stay. And Simon got sick. Nothing serious, I hope. No. No, nothing serious. Jack, can we just put the sandwiches aside for a minute? Sure. I thought that I should... I mean, I wanted to be the one to give you these. You got what you wanted, Jack. The divorce is final. So, tack on 10, 15% of original profit estimates. Uh, the small town market is solid gold, Teddy boy, solid gold. Okay, Ted, listen. Look, have your lawyer call mine. We'll nail something down, all right? All right, take care. What's this? You gone postal, Mike? No, I'm just your former contractor, which is why I guess these bills keep showing up at my address. Hey, you might want to pay your supplier someday. Some of these guys are about to call a collection agency on you. Well, I guess it's time I got myself a new accountant. All right, I'll take care of him. Word on the street is George Kirby pulled out of your project. Oh. I don't believe everything you hear. Okay. How about what I see? Like a stack of bills and your biggest investor's gone AWOL. Looks like your project's going down, man. Just relax, Mike. These uh, people will get their money. So the project's still on track? Oh, yeah, the fast track. What about your investor? George Kirby just ran into a little bit of bad luck. How bad? I uh, he's still in play. In fact, I ran into the guy down in Santa Domingo. What were you doing down there? Helping Carly through with a divorce. But listen, Mike, now that I'm back, accounts, priority number one. How's Carly doing? I think she's doing great. Uh, the divorce was just a formality. No divorce is just a formality. Regardless, her freedom now awaits. Mike, these bills will get paid. Thank you once again for bringing them to my attention. Katie? Oh, my God. I can't believe Jack and Carly are actually over. It's hard to believe. Oh, God, I feel so bad for them. Maybe we should warn Carly just one more time that when Simon blows through your life, you're lucky if he leaves you with your toothbrush. No, if Carly's grown up, grown up enough to get a divorce, she's grown up enough to make her own decisions about Simon. He made her own mistakes. What are the odds those bills are gonna get paid? We did our part, it's not our problem. I don't want Carly to get hurt, but we do have our own future ahead of us. Whatever happens to them, happens. I'm glad to hear you say that. Good, because I got a call today. Not just any call, a make your dreams come true kind of call. <clears throat> All right, you got my attention. But I'm warning you, I don't want anyone making your dreams come true.
impurity. Okay. Jessica, have a copy of this? Yes, I made sure that one was sent to her. And the others, I guess, what we put in a safety deposit box or something. <laughs> Why? In case we forget we're divorced? Why don't I help you finish up here? Oh, that's all right. I, I, I got to cover. I should go. Are you still planning on picking the kids up tomorrow? Yes, absolutely. Right after school. And I'll stop by here and pick up Sage first. Great. I've had a couple of glimpses of great. And this ain't it. It's the best I can do in short notice. All those years, three kids, hundreds of arguments, ten times more making up. It's funny how it all fits into a legal envelope. I know. Thanks for bringing this by. Thank you. Listen, I really got to finish up here because I got some homework on my own. I got some reports to file, and I'm really backed up at the station, so... I'll get out of your way. Yeah, um, Emma will be here when you come to pick up Sage. Okay. And I'll have the boys call you right after school. Thanks. Good night, Jack. Good night. your best come on uh, i wish it was a come on look it's late and i'm tired and i've just come from jackson and whatever it is i'm sure can wait till morning wait right? wait can, can, Carly, we have a problem what kind of problem uh a very big problem well that's scaring me all right you remember george kirby yeah the loser who tried to back out of our building deal. yeah well yeah. that loser has a bigger mouth than his bank account in fact mike couldn't wait to tell me that he heard rumors that our project was in trouble what kind of trouble? Well, I'll put it this way. For the next 48 hours, Kylie, you're mine. I own you, mind, body, and soul. This is a small fortune, Simon. No, the money's not the problem. Oh, I'd say the money's a problem. We can always find more money. Unless the new investors and potential buyers hear that we're in trouble, then we're dead in the water. Now, how did Mike hear so fast? I don't know, the construction crowd out of their own grapevine. Anyway, look, I can cover our investment personally, but... Well, then cover it, I can't... Simon. It's just not a smart business move. Right? By the time I liquidate enough assets, we... our project would have already lost too much ground. No, we need to put this fire out now. Get potential buyers into the units. Get some cash. Problem solved. No, no, no. Simon, those, th those units are nowhere near being ready to sell. That's why we're going to have a broker's open house. Okay. All right, so I guess if I if I really push it, I can have the model unit ready in three or four weeks. How about the day after tomorrow? Are you out of your mind? We drag our feet on this, we're out of business. All right, well, the, the small penthouse, I guess that's the closest to being ready. Perfect, that's great, let's move on that. I knew you'd save me. I'm saving myself. All right, I bet you, dinner at the Lakeview, that we have a dozen contracts before that open house is over. And I'll bet you we both have nervous breakdowns if we don't. And put it this way, the sooner we get that cash in the bank, the sooner we can get back to what we started in Santo Domingo.
Jack, it's me. Are you okay? Not really. I'm so sorry. I don't want the divorce. Simon talked me into going to Santo Domingo. I never should have listened to him. I've been staring at these papers, Carly. I, I just can't believe it's over. It's not over, Jack. Not for me. It never will be. Sorry to call so late. Oh, it's okay. It's been a long night. I know what you mean. Jack, I need a favor. Sure. Can you keep the kids for a couple more days? Why? What's, what's up? There's sort of um, a crisis at work, and I have to complete a three-month project in two days. Well, what happened? It's a long story, but, but I need to be working around the clock. Carly, that, that, that's ridiculous. Simon, Simon, Simon should not take advantage of you like... Jack. Sorry, old habit. Just don't overdo it, okay? No, no, I, I won't. Um, this is a really great opportunity, and uh, I love the challenge. And if I'm successful, then, you know, I'll, I'll have something to be proud of for the first time in a long time. Good luck. Thank you. And give the kids a kiss for me. We'll do. Good night. <laughs> 